13 figures to unbox in one scale from Army Army Hell's Paradise. My first ones Gabi Malu and Sagili. Vampers of Vibration Stars. Loving the designs of the box. Let's unbox Gabi Malu first. Open the lid, take out the package. Open the plastic. Cut legs to base, three pegs. Stretch the leg to the peg, push them in. Unbox Sagili. Take out the package. Fear comes in bubble wrap. Open the plastic. Torso to legs. Move the hair and close the gap. Might take a bit more force to lock it in. Is it a peg? Understand. Is it for a flower? Couldn't find a use for it. Pegs under there. Attach it to the base. Happy Manu standing at 5.5 inches and Sakili 5.6 inches. Cut small for vibration stars. On close up, good hair scope with flat grey finish. They have a finish on the eyes and face. Clean finish on the hands with the cloth. Simple dark blue with black on the arm and a white stash around the waist. I like the rugged edges on the outfit. So really long brown hair. The eyes and the face feels a bit different to the anime. Sword in hand, a bit bent. I think they need cardboard to protect it. Nice metallic finish on the blade. Red on white and good folds on the outfit. As well as the random peg on the base is hidden. Simple finish on the feet, mostly covered up by the pants. Scarf feels off when you display them dinner, but it's still nice to own. Next one for Dark Trio is Jujutsu Kaisen. This is Momo Nishimiya from Band Pester, part of the Junko Nakata figure line. Open the lid, take out the package, open the plastic, attach her to the base with a small peg. Slide in the brim into her hand, standing at 5.6 inches, same as Sakili. The hair and brim looks a similar shape. Maybe it's yellow, but it doesn't look good on PVC. Big blue eyes with a sad face, wearing a dark brown choker. I wear a dark blue dress with stem lines on the shoulders. I like to see a web on the brim, flat handle. And quite sit flush on the ground. This being the other Kyoto to Jutsu High for comparison. I like them all together. We have Mai, Tojo, and Miwa. The skull looks great. And the third one for Dark Trio is Chainsaw Man. Have you the Vibrant and Star Chainsaw Man Devil from Ban Presto. The same figure line series as the Hell's Paradise. Alright, let's unbox. Man, what's going on here? Ban Presto. The figures are getting smaller and smaller. Attach the head first to the body. This will match up the shape. One arm. Another arm. Pressing quite smoothly. Two legs to the base. Really have to stretch this. There we go. Chainsaw Man Devil. Standing at 6.7 inch. Including the blade on his head. Great details on the blade. Nice and shiny. A clean finish on the head. Uh, the teeth are not well cut out. Tongue is a good touch. Good details on the tie and web cord. Same good finish on the chainsaw on the arm. Pretty clean details on the shoe with good chunky form. And the shoelaces are spot on. Let's bring in the new Master Chainsaw Man Devil. Well, different heights and prices. Much more dynamic pose on the Luminasa. The Vibrant Star looks like he's going to the bathroom. The Vibrant Star also has a much better finish on the chainsaws. Much more mechanic and looks, looks dangerous. I think they both have their own strength and it's worthwhile to get either of these. Let's bring in Denji from the Chain Spirit from Band Presto. Man, such a big size difference. Oh, we are blazing through. Onto a very special one. Violin Lambrint. We've been waiting for this one for a little while to go with Select the Mercury. A heartless unbox. You might have noticed the price tag on the box because I bought this in the shop and I didn't pre order it online in advance. Because at the time, I wasn't sure if I want to get these figures. So we're looking to get into some mecha anime or we're going down. This might be good anime just to watch. Let's build head to body. One peg, two pegs to the blue base. Not really aligned to that part. This doesn't matter too much. We only need limb bent. Standing at 6.9 inches. Quite a tall figure. Great finish on the fringe. Eyes look on the left. Mm, maybe don't display it from this angle. Red on black and the dark green. Asikasia School of Technology uniform. With a pose that's semi inviting. And black shoes and standing on a nice blue transparent base. Here comes Shurek the Mercury to break down the barriers. Just like the anime, Shurek there is a bit taller. So it's good to have them there just to see a pose like this. There was a whole bunch of other school characters coming out as prize figures. Let's move on to a pop-up parade. Whoop! Nafi Legan from Mob Psycho Anime from Good Smile Company. Alright, let's unbox. Just love the packaging of pop-up parade. Make it so easy to unbox. Got the chunky pegs again. Three pegs to the base. There we go. Slots in so smoothly. Aha! Legan. Oh, a massive stem on the head. Yeah. With a sharp finish on the eyes, very we confident expression. Good finishes on the eyes, and pink tie really pops, and clean finish on the suit. Just bit in mob and dimple. This guy looks good. Studio doesn't look too small now. Left on the new small round bases, so we can really display them together. I'm liking this display. Wow, we that's almost quite a lot of figures. Just over halfway now. If you have been enjoying the video so far, please give it a like. Got quite a few more figures to unbox. And we still got the big army army box. Get ready for some pretty cool figures in the next part. Let's do a triple. We'll do two first. Spy Family. Have Anya and your Forger. This is the formal wear version from Sega. Alright, let's unbox. 
So many onion figures coming out. All of them so adorable. Oh, it's in a blister pack. Let's build. Two teeny pegs to the base. Fill in. Yay, Anna's ready. Let's do your next. Oh, some bubble wraps. Interesting, this was a blister pack as well. Attached to one peg to the base. I'm damaging the heel. You know this? Nice. Let's part these two for now. Do the Anya pop up parade from Good Smile Company. All right, let's unbox. More and more expensive. I don't know if I can continue collecting this. Attach Anya to the base. Three pegs. And these pegs are very small. There we go. The two Anya looking pretty similar in size. I take out the base, not so much. The pop up parade Anya, shiny finish on her hair ornament, fluffy pink hair with big green eyes. Last new details on the web tie and gold on black design of uniform. With teeny feet. To swap out the face, remove the fringe and face plate. Then attach the alternate face plate and reattach the fringe. Hmm, I think I prefer the default face plate. There's a bit of a gap on the hair, just can't seem close all the way. Anya party outfit figure doesn't have the shiny hair ornament, but the line work on the hair is great. And also with the big green eyes. I wear a pretty red dress. It's a great sculpt. You do the same to swap out the face plate, remove the fringe and face plate, adding the alternate face plate and fringe. Fringe this one also better with the default face. They both have different skin colours. Both have the same iconic star pose. The finish on the sneaker is a bit better with no gap. The white base is pretty boring, especially next to the olive base. It has a good finish on the gold headpiece, big red eyes and red lip. Perfect finish. Gold necklace with a shiny pearl dress with a hair strand on it. And then are painted too, looking exquisite. There you are. Both bases have the spy fam logo on the olive green base. Let's bring in Lloyd. The set is complete. So elegant. Will scale well and the price the same. In for Anya. Yes. How nice are this outfit? Real well painted and sculpted. Let's bring the Lloyd pop up parade to Dada, father and daughter. Just a bit height difference. It's a shame that the pop up parade Anya didn't come with bonds. Would have given it a bit more height. Could be why it has such a price difference. Oh, it's been quite a man for unboxing so many figures. Let's do a single one for the next one. Oh, Kusuya Kurabawa from Yu Yu Hakuso, 30th anniversary. This is from Band Pastor, DSX figure line. Alright, let's unbox. Yeah, I haven't gone around to read the manga yet, but um, I feel like I really just get some and start reading. Uh, anxious about opening this one because I know it's quite small. Yeah, it looks promising. Let's build the flame sword handle through the hand first. And then that's the flame blade to it. Nice. And then slide the sand into the leg. Kashima Sana 7.1 inches. It's really pulled away my feel of these being too small. I thought the hair did white, but the colors feel a bit funny. Black eye on the eyes with the white of the mouth and everything else blends into, into his torso. Great scalp on the body and muscles. No visible stem lines. Great color flame sword goes well with the flat design. Spacking handle and sword tip. Some great color application. I'm glad the sword is rare, otherwise it's pretty static and a pretty boring pose. And the, the blue stand isn't too distracting. It's a bit in use care for comparison. <laughs> That's a bit high difference. Oh hi, I think I'm gonna stand my back. I do One Punch Man. We have here Saitama and Genos. One Pan Presto is part of the One Punch Man figure number one. Alright, oh, let's unbox. Let's build with the head to the body. Ah, feels very smooth. <laughs> Cape to the body goes at an angle. A bit tricky to get this lined up. I start with one side first. Just for the feet. From the feet to the base. One piece for the leg. One piece for the cape. There we go. Alright, let's do Genos next. Genos is definitely my most favorite character for One Punch Man. This is his character development and I just love Mecha. Uh, the past figures of him have been pretty good. Statues and resin, oh, they're incredible. And one day I will save up enough to get one. There we go. Genos comes in a sandwich pack. It's real. Lexical torso. In. Ah, no pegs the best. It's just Stands there. there we go. Saitama at 6.5 inches, including the cape. And Gino is at 4.1 inches due to his pose. Great scope for Saitama. So smooth, a serious look on his face. The big grey buttons on his cape and the punch with the shiny flowing cape. And you see that the stand's not doing much. The big zipper, nice finish on the suit. Metallic golden belt, great pose on the leg, charging forward. For Gino's, nice lays on the hair. With the shadow wig giving it some extra form. Got the eyes down pat and to one side. Battle expression. In contrast, the arms have a flat finish with good shape and form. Great details on the neck, the jacket with with Genos written on it. And this also the jeans have a flat finish. Genos in an Iron Man pose. It's been in the pop-up play for comparison or different heights and prices. While the pop-up play costs a fair bit more. Comparing the Saitama's head, I think they both look good, but I do like the lighter colour line work on the pop-up play. For Genos, the band one looks so much better. The pop-up play Genos pose does really well with the band while right for the Saitama pop-up play doesn't quite go well with the Iron Man pose. The pop-up play looks great as a set, while the band Star Timer is much better of the two, but Genos on his home looks good. It's time to unbox the army 
Army box. Cut and open. I love the monthly card they give. It's penguin themed with Amico and Lilico. Whoa. Oops. Ooh. There it is. A top top Kusanagi from Gus Infestial. Stand 9 complex, second gig. One seventh scale from Imon Toys. This looks even better in person. Definitely worth the wait. I'm so happy that I ended up purchasing this. Alright, let's start unboxing. I fell in love with Gus and Shell ever since the movie. This blew my mind what anime was capable of. And then I got into the games and then I found the manga as well. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. Ooh. Okay, time to tip it over. Some instruction for the base. The base takes two 2032 batteries, turn the base around, open the hatch, and the battery holder. There are markings for a negative and the positive side for the battery. Put them both in, might find it a bit tricky with the space. Close the box but only half the size and don't fully close the lid. I find if you close it fully, the LED light may not light up. And there's a button near the stand to turn on and off the effects. Yay, yeah, the green LED light lights up. Attach the special effects onto it and then slide more top onto the peg. Push it all the way in. I like how it fades on instead of, just, of it just flashing on. Aha, a bit hard to see if the lights on, but it looks okay. Okay, the lights off. The hair is so good. So that's fine detail. Extra purple finish, big red eyes, focus on the gun. Capture the chunky black gloves holding the gun. It has a dark grey finish which contrasts well with the black outfit. Excellent finish on the skin tone to break from the dark finish on the outfit. Lots of shiny finish on the top and the legs. With a flat finish to the coat, different, some different textures. Wonderful movement on the back with a brush to the coat as well. You can definitely recognize my color from the back. With cool data pattern swimming in the transparent green around the figure, it's a shame that it only lasts up from the base. With the base being just standalone complex logo. Let's bring in some of the other Motokuro with different height and prices. Comparing the faces, you can see the extra details and you can really see what you're paying for for the 170 scale. And from the back, you really see the size difference between all three. Wow, we have all the August anime film haul. Definitely one of my biggest and such a wide variety of characters. So to see my other unboxing, just go over here and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye!